Hey guys, welcome back to Camp Connection Winter Edition. I'm Miss Alexis. And I'm Miss Jessica. And today we are going to do the gingerbread puppet. Um, so, let's see. We have... Well, the first thing you'll need to do is find your gingerbread man craft kit in your craft kit box. All right, so we have our instructions. And our instructions um, say that you need a toilet paper roll. Okay, so we did not give you a toilet paper roll only because we know everybody has toilet paper and paper towel and things like that at home. So we actually need you guys to make sure that you save um, the next toilet paper roll you guys have, you know, so we're gonna do a little bit of recycling. You either can use a toilet paper roll or if you don't have enough of those, if you have an empty paper towel roll, you can always cut it in half, okay? So if you if you cut it in half, don't throw away the other one because we actually have one more craft that this uh, during uh, winter camp that you're gonna need a roll like this. So if you use one of these, make sure you save the second half, okay? All right. Okay. And then in your craft kit, you will also have your instruction sheets. Um, you will have two buttons, a piece of brown paper, and then you're also going to need from your supply bag markers and scissors right. and probably some glue. Tiny bit of glue probably, right? A little bit of glue. So you said scissors, right? Mm -hmm. And glue. And if you feel like you need, you maybe you could use your pencil or one of the crayons. You will need those to decorate at the end, but you might need it to draw um, your circle. All right. So the first thing that you're going to do is you are going to take your piece of brown paper. You are going to, um, let's see, cut out the pieces for the body. Um, this is your body and you're gonna cut out the head and the arms and the legs. Okay, so you're gonna draw your circle or oval, however you want the shape of your head to be for your gingerbread man, okay? Make sure that when you draw it, maybe you draw it up towards the, the corner up here because you're gonna need to leave yourself a little bit of room for um, making the arms and the legs, okay? And then I'm actually going to do my arms and the legs probably closer to, I think, the bottom. The bottom of your brown paper, yeah. Uh-huh, so make sure that, um, I don't know if you can see this, but I did um, two lines right here, okay? Because you're gonna go all the way across, right? So, let's see, we're gonna cut out our circle. Miss Jessica's gonna cut it out for me today. Um, so the neat part about your gingerbread man is, um, you're only going to need a tiny bit of glue for the head, but actually we have a little trick for the, um, arms and the legs. So, um, while we are doing that, while she's doing that, um, I actually am going to go grab another pair of scissors so I can cut this. Okay. A little bit bigger pair of scissors. Okay. So I cut out my circle for my head, and then the lines that Miss Alexis drew, I'm just going to cut those straight across so that I end up with two very long rectangles. And then I'm just going to kind of cut, make the ends of them kind of rounded by cutting using my scissors to just sort of round those out so that it produces more of an oval shape. All right. And so while she's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and cut um, the roll. Um, so what you're gonna do, you need to be careful with this, so make sure that when you cut the roll, you're not gonna cut all the way down. You are going to cut, um, put your scissors through here, and you're gonna cut just a little bit down, maybe an inch and a half or so. Make sure that that line that you cut right there, okay, is only, okay, about as wide as one of your arms or legs, okay? And you're gonna do that on each side. So you're gonna do one on this side and you're gonna do one that matches on the other, okay? So let's see. And you're gonna do that on the top and the bottom right. of your uh, toilet paper roll. Okay, those look about even, I think. And then I'm gonna flip it over. Make sure that when you do that, that, they, that your line up at the top is also in the same place in the line at the bottom, okay? So that they line up. Okay, I'll flip it over and look at the other one. All right, that's pretty good, I think, wouldn't you say? All right, so then what do we do next? So 
So and next, you can draw a face on your circle ah, okay. with your markers. All right, let's see. I'm gonna give it some eyes, I think, and maybe a little nose, and then maybe a big old smile. Okay, you can decorate the face however you want to. You can give them hair, you can use different colors, whatever you want, but this is how mine looks, okay? And if you want then, you can also decorate the arms and the legs before you put it together, okay? Um, so now, we are going to fold the arm piece and the foot piece in half, okay? Kind of like this, so you're gonna take it and you're gonna fold it in half so that they, they match each other, okay? And then, that way you kind of have like an, um, a middle, middle line and you are going to take your arms and legs and you are going to insert them to that, you know where we did those little slits right there, okay? You're gonna put one through the top, okay? Make sure it goes through both both sides right there okay so then you have your arm piece that has gone through the top okay through both sides and then you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna put the legs as well okay so there's that okay oh i think these look more like legs i guess i'll do these with the arms huh yeah if you put them in there and you decide that one side looks more like arms and legs you can always just flip it around right and then, now that you're done with that, you're gonna use the glue, right? We're gonna put the glue, and I'm gonna glue those over here, right? She's gonna just glue the head onto the top of her Let's toilet paper roll. Here. Just a little bit of glue, not too much, okay? And then, I'm gonna actually give that to you. And then I'm gonna put some glue on my buttons while um, Miss Jessica's putting the head on, okay? And when you glue, because we're just using regular white glue, you may have to wait a minute or two for it to dry. Right. And you may even want to uh, hold it mm -hmm. a little bit with your finger while you wait for that to dry. Absolutely. So that's pretty good there. And then you're going to take your buttons. And however you want to put them on there, you can put them sideways. You can put them straight up and down. Um, we gave you two random buttons. So some of you have different shapes. Some have different colors. Okay but you're gonna give him some little decorative buttons, him or her or whatever you want to call him. And then, like I said, you could have already decorated all the other arms and legs and things like that, but when you're finished, you have a finger puppet. So you can stick your fingers in there and now you've got a little gingerbread man. He runs pretty fast, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so that's that one. And then we will see you guys tomorrow to do the next craft. Bye. Bye.